what's up guys welcome back to my channel today's video i will show you guys how i do this amazing effect here with kinemaster click on this plus sign to add a new project choose your aspect ratio of the screen now first thing we need to do now is to load in our footage all right so this is the green screen that i showed for this as you can see all right so first one we need to do with the character so later we do this just delete this for now all right so the way i shot this i first of all to make sure the character eats the wall then run to the camera so when you play this you understand what i'm talking about right now eat the wall then stand up then run to the camera and obviously our clean background okay what we do now is to capture this background just click a capture then capture and add a clip click on it now we have a new clip which is the image or the background now what i will do now is to cut out where the character is about to run through the camera okay just to, to capture a view that is more clear just cut this out like so all right and for this we need to also duplicate this just click on it click option here then select duplicate all right now just drag this to the end of the timeline like so now we have these two then hit the wall run into camera then background in the second clip okay so what we need to do now is to make sure we have the perfect jump for this when you're about to hit the wall so we need to cut that out yeah okay something like this just cut this out here so what we have our clean background then in the wall all right so for this beginning of the shot we also have to cut the frame well about so where it's on the ground already so after hitting the wall just all right this is perfect just cut this out all right then the last frame also make sure i cut this out from the exact point that begins i think you get this is the end shot you can see him and this is the beginning shot you can see him that is almost the same place all right now when you play this you have something like this in the wall then back okay all right now where is that done now this next thing to do now is to just go to the last frame of this clip so you can see him you can see him clearly here so we need to capture this Click here and capture and save. All right, so you can now cut him out from the background. You can use the photo editing of your choice, maybe Photoshop or Pixart. I know a lot of people use Pixart, and I personally use Photoshop. Okay, after doing that, then you import it. I already do that, so you can do it. I just go ahead and import mine. All right, this is the image I wrote out okay no now i just drag this here at the beginning of this shot like so then at the end like so okay i think this is too long let me just play it it's too long so i will just trim this i already need this part so i just cut this out and also cut this so it must be that exact place and the amount of image here should be one okay now where you play this now it should be more faster okay i think you are getting there i'll just cut more because i don't want this to lag just a quick hit then over okay i'll just my i think this is fine so what i do now is to just drag this then replace it back make sure it fits okay now in this the beginning of the shot just resize it to fit the character like so as you can see it fits the character so click here then drag this back then drag this up then resize it drag it back a little then here need to resize it 
then match it with this now you can just adjust it by rotating it so that it can match properly okay now when you play this after doing that you should have something like this as you can see that okay now the next thing to do now is to import my hand as i shot on green screen so click here on layer media now import it all right so this is not a perfect green screen shot but it works and that what it matters for me okay just drag it to where it shot the finger as you can see then drag it add back and we need to make sure that the hand get out from the frame totally okay i just got this out then the beginning also cut this out make sure that you don't film anything that is not out of the frame okay click on it now i need to remove this background just click on the chroma key here then enable it now you see something like this now you can refine your key i will choose another color for this okay click here then adjust it until you get the better result of key okay this is fine now you can see that we have some edges here at this corner so i just make sure i crop this out a little let's crop it out a little now i resize it to match the same like so okay after dragging it just drag it to where it kick the actor okay let me just play this through okay you can see that now when you play this again kick you can see okay that is done and i need to add something to this to make it more realistic and to add a shadow to the character so i can see as you can see that the character is working up from the wall through the camera you can see that it has some of shadow it's not a ash shadow but it has a soft shadow going on there so i want to replicate something like that okay so what i'll do now is to just go to layer media now select a background here just black of course now click on it then cut it exactly to the size of the image here okay now i need to increase this just to match i think this is fine what i'll do now is to click on this cropping then crop it out click on the shape then shoot circle okay now you can increase the feather to complete with 50 all right now drag this down then you need to resize this just go back to cropping then drag it a little like so you should have something like this okay now you need to also key this just click on the key then drag it down to where the character is then we have to key this until the character go back okay i'll just resize it to be small okay now you have something like this okay now when you play this you have something like this and if you look at the shadow that i created just now it's on top of our character and it should be underneath of our character just click on the shadow layer just option here then you can send it backward okay now it is behind him okay now click on this one option bring to front now click on the green screen option down bring to front okay everything is normal right now okay as you can see that that the shadow is behind as you can see here all right now you can see that the ash the shadow is too ash now we can just go to the alpha opacity here now reduce it just you really have to make sure that it's some kind of visible in the same not too ash okay now this is done now when you play this you have your final composite as you can see that this is done and when you save this just click up here then save 
all right now you have your final effect thanks for watching and i will see you guys in my next video